What's good, YouTube? Nate with Mass Collector, back with another PSA submission video. Um, first of all, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do so. I do all kinds of um, sports card videos, kind of mail days, what I'm picking up, why, um, why I'm targeting certain players. And also, I go through my submissions of all the cards that I have, either from my collection from when I was a kid or just buying things off of eBay for the past year. Yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Hit that like button or dislike it if you don't like it and uh, hit that bell. Leave some comments. Let me know what you guys think. So here we go, 30 cards, um, modern value submission. So these are 12 bucks a card. I got the submission in before the price increase. So this one here is Michael's Magic Year. Um, it's from uh, Upper Deck Jordan Collection, 1995. And there's a dent on the top right and left. It's very, very, very faint ones up here and over there. Just, you know, nothing major, but enough where I noticed it. So I'm sure PSA is going to notice it. Um, I'm thinking this makes it a nine then. Otherwise, all the corners looked really good. All the edges look good. No white, no nothing. So who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky, but right here, you can kind of see that, that dent right there and then right here. But I love this card. I mean, look at that look on his face. Like, I'm gonna destroy you. Michael Jordan Skybox, uh, nine. It's off-centered that way. Otherwise, everything else looked really good on it. This one here is uh, Top's Finest. Michael Jordan. I'm thinking this one gets a 10 because there is like nothing wrong with it. I bought this with the film on. I took the film off. Um, the it looks perfect. So it doesn't get a 10. I'm not sure what else needs to happen to make that one like a 10. Um, 1991 Hoops, Jordan, uh, it's off centered a little bit, so I'm thinking it's probably going to get a nine, push that way just a hair, uh, 1989 Hoops, all star. Uh, I'm guessing a nine, there's a faint scratch or a rub mark or something going down the front. And also there's this print bubble there that I just noticed now. I never even noticed that before. So that might actually make it an eight. So we're going to put an eight down print bubble. I don't, I don't have any more of these to check out either. So I do, but they're not as nice as this one centered in wise. So I'll say this one's an eight then. I did not just, I just noticed that now. Uh, Jordan Skybox Z Force. Uh, a nine, I'm thinking. It's got some white edges on the back bottom. sprinkled in down there but that's it everything else looks really good um 1993 upper deck i'm thinking a 10 it's uh centered really well all the corners and edges are crisp jordan 1990 1996 skybox premium um, I'm thinking this is a 10 because there is nothing wrong with this thing. Uh, there's no white on the edges or the corners. Everything looks sharp and crisp and clean. So that'll be sweet. At least that's what I think it'll get. This one here is a uh, 91 Skybox. And I think it's off-centered. Um, I think it needs to be pushed that way a little bit. It just seems like from the Skybox to the to the edge from this print to the edge. I don't know if those are supposed to line up or not, but um, you know, it looks good. But if 
you know, the only thing I think that's wrong with it is possibly the centering. If they don't think so, I think it's a 10. 1991 Upper Deck All-Star Checklist. I think it's a 10. Uh, it's slightly off-centered, but it measures okay within the 60-40 range. So if it comes back a 9, it's from centering, I'm, I'm assuming. But it shouldn't, because PSA is supposed to be 60-40, at least. 1991 Upper Deck, Magic vs. Jordan. Uh, this should be a 10. It's pretty much perfect. All the way around. Love this card. Uh, 91 Jordan, Upper Deck. Uh, 10. Everything looks good. I even microscoped the holograms on these damn things, so everything looks really nice on this one. And I had a bunch of them too. I bought a bunch of boxes of 91 Upper Deck and ripped them open last year. They're on April, about a year ago. Uh, 91 Upper Deck, All Star, Jordan. And I'm thinking this one is a 10 as well. It's slightly off-centered, but it measures okay. So you kind of see it's pushed this way and down a little bit, but for the most part, it looks really good and it measured okay. Uh, 91 Fleer. Um, I'm thinking it's a 10, but it's probably a nine. It's got a small white dot, like right there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but it's right at the end of this pen. See that little thing? It's just like one little, one little dot. And um, what else is wrong with this thing that I thought? Uh, and on the edge too. So there's a little spot on the edge here. Um, right there. Hardly noticeable. We'll see. Everything else looks good. All the corners, edges, everything checks out nice with the microscope. So, but that one little white dot and then that little spot right there. It might be pushed down a little bit. I don't know if these red bars are supposed to be exactly the same width, but um, I think it looks appealing enough to make it. Here's Jordan's 91 Fleer All Star. Um, a nine, it's got a white bottom edge on the back, so there's some uh white shit showing down here, otherwise, it looks good. These are so hard to grade because there's so many opportunities for failure. Um, when you have color all the way to the edge, you know, those upper deck ones with white borders, you don't have to worry about it. That's why I think, you know, everybody whines about junk wax era. Well, yeah, they printed a shitload of them, but how many makes, how many make tens? Like 5%? These two, oh man. Uh, Dennis Robin, Metal, Universe, 1997. Um, I'm thinking it's a nine, maybe a 10. It's got a white corner. Um, and you can barely tell. But it's there. Just, I mean, it's just a such a small little piece. But I picked it up with the microscope, so I'm thinking that's might it's probably a nine. Otherwise, it looks really good all the way around. Um, this one here is a tough one too. So Dennis Rodman Power Tool Tools. It's a 90 uh, 96 metal. Yeah, I'm thinking a nine. It's got one white corner on the front bottom left. And um, you can probably see it there. Other than that, it looks really, really nice. Back checked out. So it might sneak by with a 10, but I don't know. I can see it. So 10 supposed to be perfect. Dennis Rodman, Beam Team, 1992 Stadium Club. Um, I had another one that was really nice, but when I was using the microscope, I noticed that some of the Stadium Club um, silver was 
rubbed off. It just said STAD. So like the I, STADI, <laughs> the U and the M were barely there. So I was looking through the other cards I had and I found this one here and I'm um, thinking it's a nine. It's got some white corners. I think it's pretty close to a 10 grade, but I think there's just enough white showing here. Kind of, it's plain as day right there. It's not bad, but you know, it's, it's there. So I don't know, I'm guessing a nine. John Stockton, 1988 Fleer All-Star. Uh, I think it's centered just about perfect. It might be pushed to the right a hair. Um, I think it's a nine. It's got some white top edge on there showing, but other than that, it's, it's really nice. So, you know, I'm thinking a nine, but I mean, I, I think it might have a chance at a 10. I don't know how they, how they go by that. I think I've seen some that have issues like that on there with tens, but I think it's gotta be totally clean like the bottom is. Charles Barkley, 88 Fleer. Uh, nine, again, maybe a 10. It's got white edge on the right side and it, there's not that much either. It's just a hair um, right here. I don't know if you can see it or not. A couple little tiny spots here. Um, I think it might fly though. We'll see. The back looks really nice. Centered perfectly. It's hard to get these cards centered on both sides. Uh, Larry Bird 88. This one's off centered slightly. Um, and then I also think like on the back, when I was looking at it with a microscope and you can kind of see it with a naked eye, it looks like there's like some uh, staining, like some yellowish tint on the very top which I think might have come just from time and air hitting it. So it's barely noticeable, but it's there when you look at it under a microscope. So I'm not sure how they get, how they go about that. Um, the centering is off just a, you know, I think it's off enough to make it a nine, but I think it looks really nice. Uh, Carmelone 88 Fleer, uh, same type of thing here. Um, it might make a 10, but it's off-centered slightly. Push down a little bit. But I think it's just outside that 60-40 area, and it's just going to make it a 9. Otherwise, it looks really nice. Um, LeBron James Hot Prospects. So it's NBA Hoops. Um, it's off-centered. And there's a dent on the back, so I think it's going to be an 8. And this is the only one I had, so I don't have any other ones to choose from. Uh, this is LeBron Fleer Sweet Signatures, uh, 2004. And I'm thinking this one here is a uh, an 8 as well. It's got a lot of white edges on it. White, white corners and edges. It looks off-centered, but it, it, it measured okay. Or actually, this one here is centered really nice. The next one here is off-centered, just the hair. Um, which is the LeBron 2015 NBA Hoops. So it measures as a 10. So it's 60-40 for sure. Um, that's the only thing wrong with this thing. Everything else is perfect. So I think this one will get a 10. If not, it's a nine for sure, but it should be a 10. This is a 2015 Donruss. And this is the only one I had. I bought some 2015 Donruss packs when I was searching for uh, Christian Wood last year. I actually pulled one. But I got a LeBron out of it, so might as well just, you know send it in. I'm thinking it's gonna get a uh, a nine. It's got some white corners on the back here, little specks. 
And then the home stretch here, we have Giannis 2014 hoops. Um, I'm thinking a nine because it's got some white corners on this only black border on the top up here. Otherwise, everything else pans out really nice. So this is Giannis' second year card. And I got a 2014 Panini Prestige. Uh, I'm thinking eight and a half to nine. It's got some white corners and edges on the back, which is, I mean, it's such a hard card to grade because of how much print um, is dark too. It's really dark black and dark green. So it's got a couple white spots. And I have other ones, but they're all about the same, so we'll see. And this one here is a 2015 Panini Totally Certified. Um, I'm thinking a nine, it might get a 10. It's got a couple of small white edges on it, um, mainly on the back. A couple little tiny spots up there. Other than that, it looks pretty good. And then I have a 2014 Giannis Prism to end it. And I think this one um, is a 9 for sure. It might creep into the 10. Um, there's one corner that has this little fuzz on it that I just can't get it. I can't pull it off. It's just a little tiny fuzzy the corner is sharp, but it's just got this little fuzz on it, which is just, man, I just couldn't get it off, but we'll see. Otherwise, it looks perfect. There's no scratches on it, nothing. It just shines. So, hopefully that one comes back a 10, but I think it, it might get a 9. So, that's what I got this time. 30 cards, I'm going to send these off tomorrow. And uh, PSA just sent me a bunch of emails today that all my submissions kind of showed up from what I sent out the last couple weeks. Like they all arrived or were logged into their system as received today. So I got one, two, three, four, five submissions rolled in there today. <laughs> and then uh, there's, I think there's one, one or two more that are there delivered, but they haven't like acknowledged the fact that they have them yet. So these are going to go out. Appreciate you guys checking out the video. Um, you know, leave a comment. You guys getting any, any good uh, knowledge out of this or, you know, is there something I'm missing when I'm looking at grading these things? Just let me know. I'd like to hear what you guys have to say and what your experience is with some of these cards with the black all the way to the edge, things like that. And maybe I'm being too hard on myself. Maybe I'm being not hard enough i'm not sure but i think these are really good condition i think they're nines and tens for the most part except some of those eights lebrons um just taking my time looking at it making sure they're they're cleaned up if i have doubles of these things i'm, I'm trying to find them and use the best one so um we'll see in about a year <laughs> when they come back but i wanted to document everything just to kind of uh you know, let's see, see if I know what I'm doing here or not. But uh, appreciate you guys. Please subscribe if you haven't. Like the video and hit the bell for notifications when I drop new ones. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Later.